I was watching robots from the car as Dad drove me one day when I had a really great idea. Abby, Chip, and Mom had done just about everything with their robots except race them. Cubix and I quickly found the others, and I explained my idea. It didn't take long to convince them. We needed somewhere to race, and I knew just the place. As we rode back through Bubble Town, we saw smoke. Electrix robot was going mad. It sprayed a mysterious substance everywhere before exploding. We took the glowing gunk that we had collected to Hella at the body's pit. She told us that this substance was called Solex, but before she could tell us more, we discovered that someone else was after Solex. We'd beaten Colossal fair and square, but he didn't seem to think so. It seemed almost as if he was daring us to follow him. But Cubix had no problem with that. The collapsing burger was a pretty impressive sight. Cubix left clear, but it seemed the Colossal was still buried. We didn't hang around to find out. Cubix had gotten himself a bit beaten up, but with Hella's help, it was easy to fix him. I enjoyed repairing Cubix, but not so much that I wanted him to get hurt again. Cubix offered to help with some of my chores, which was great. It gave me more time to plan for our next race. Racing robots is a lot more fun than fixing them. We got pretty caught up in our robot racing. We all tried to tune our robots to make them go even faster. Hella didn't mind us using her tools, saying that it was good practice for robot mechanics. We found somewhere to race a little closer to home this time. It's a good job we didn't choose to race at the construction site again. Because that day a welding fix robot went nuts there. We saw the news report on TV. It looked like Solex might be involved. So we decided to check it out. After collecting the Solex, Cubix and I rode into town to meet Dad. We didn't know that someone else was waiting for us. I shouldn't have been surprised to see that huge robot again, but I was. We decided to get out of there. We couldn't seem to shake the big robot. Things were already looking bad. Even before we saw, he had a bomb. Maximix tripped the huge robot, and he dropped the bomb. We hadn't intended to blow anything up, but the bomb exploded before we could do anything. Luckily, it didn't land on anything important. We were all really proud of Maximix, and so was he. The competition between our robots seemed to heat up after Maximix had stopped the big robot's plans. Everyone began to practice seriously. We watched Don Don chase Chedrix. We had to admit to Abby that Don Don was fast. Cubix didn't seem too worried, though. He enjoyed the other robot's successes as much as his own. It was going to be interesting to find out who would win the next race. It's really great living in Bubble Town. I was supposed to help Abby find a new race course, but all I could do was check out the robots. Some of them looked pretty fast, but I knew Cubix could beat them all. We heard a noise from a nearby house. A delicious robot was beginning to act strangely. 
It started to shake and spew Solex. But before we could react, it ran from the house. It sped off down the road, leaving a trail of Solex behind it. We had no idea how Colossal kept finding us, or what Dr. K wanted with the Solex. But we were pretty sure that they'd find us again. We stuck together to be ready, but they still surprised us. I guess Colossal was annoyed at us beating him before, because he was ready to race. We chased Colossal to the construction site. He was really angry, but so was Cubix. I think Cubix was getting a bit tired of the huge robot not admitting defeat. He took it to the next level. Colossal pushed hard, but in the end, he had no answer to my friend's strength. It was kind of impressive watching the girders fall down, and it was great to have won again. But we had to leave before all the dust clogged up the joints of our robots. We talked for a long time about our adventures. Racing robots was really good fun, but in the end it turned out that we worked best as a team. As the sun set sitting with my friends on the bodies pit, I wondered what exciting experiences would have in our future. I didn't know what tomorrow would bring, but I knew that I was looking forward to it. I was watching the robots from the car as Dad drove me one day when I had a really great idea. Abby, Meng and Mong had done just about everything with their robots except race them. Cubix and I quickly found the others and I explained my idea. It didn't take long to convince them. We needed somewhere to race. But I knew just the place. <laughs> 